your sourdough starter didn't make it into the new year, breathe easy because Randy has a soft pretzel recipe for you. And the best part is no sourdough starter is required. Thank you for that, Randy. <laughs> a lot of you, maybe you killed your sourdough. Maybe you forgot about it for a little too long and it died. And I think the reason we had the sourdough is because we couldn't find any yeast. But guess what? Yeast is back on the shelves, baby. It's everywhere. It comes in these fancy little like seven, eight gram packages, which is absolutely perfect. And this pretzel recipe just happens to use one of these. Um, super easy. Trace, you ever go to the ball game? I mean, not recently, but when you went, did you ever get a pretzel? <laughs> oh, yeah. I do love a pretzel. I've never tried making one at home, though, so this is going to be interesting. You're going to try after this. So it's really simple. I've got like um, a cup and a half of water here. If you take a look, it's just warm water. But you can see it's kind of blooming up and it's just like the yeast has been in there for about five minutes. So that's what you call the blooming of the yeast. And then what we're going to do is we're going to feed that even more. We're going to give it a little bit of maple syrup. And the yeast loves any kind of sugar. And I happen to love maple syrup. So the two come together just perfectly. And what we're going to do is just give that a stir and we are good to go. Now, if you're beginner at making bread, this is actually a perfect recipe for you because you don't need to like really get too into it. It's really quite easy. You can mix it by hand. If you're like me and you have a KitchenAid mixer at home, you can use that as well. If you're a little bit lazy, that's okay. But basically then all we're gonna do is take the wet and pour it into the dry and make a dough ball. So as you can see, we kind of brought that dough together. All we're gonna do now is add a little bit of salt just to like retard that yeast a little bit. And then a touch of, this is the secret spot, melted butter. So mm. in that goes, and we're gonna incorporate that in. And then what we're gonna do once this is like kind of like put together, we're gonna let it rest for four minutes and then we're gonna knead it on the counter for another four minutes. And then we're gonna let it rest and double um, for about 45 minutes in a warm spot. And basically what you have then is something that looks like this. Now this is divided in four, so I had like four times this. Okay. When I divide it in four, I just kind of like placed it out so it's a little bit of a log because what we're going to be doing for these pretzels is rolling them. And this is what I say like it's super easy recipe because I'm not even flouring my board. It's very like easy to work with. It kind of stretches out and it stays out. And you're just going to kind of like get the kids busy there, get the forearms working a little bit. And what we want to do is we want to make a really long rope. I do the like counter. the pretzel design and that, I mean, maybe you're just going to make it into an <laughs> R for Randy, but I'm interested to see what you're going to do there. I mean, you could totally, I mean, I'm not going to argue if you want to make a bunch of R's for Randy's, you know, or T's for Tracy's, that's okay. But what you really want to do, you ready with this? Yeah. Is we take these two ends, hi, how you doing? We bring them up. And it's okay to make them a little thinner. We kind of want the ends to be a little bit thinner and the middle here to be a bit fatter. Okay. We're going to cross it once. We're going to cross it again. And then we're going to bring it up. Oh, and boom, boom. so easy. And there's our pretzel, right? That's so beautiful. easy. So it's like braiding hair, Tracy. That's not yes. so hard at all. Now, I do have one secret here to make this go really well. We want to do is just pinch this in the bottom and roll it over because that's the bottom, not the top. And I'm just going to drop it in to this water, simmering water. And what this is, is baking soda and eight cups of water, half a cup of baking soda. And what that's going to do is kind of give it that acidity or that acid kind of look to it. So the bread's a little bit darker oh, on the I outside see. than on the inside. And you see that now it's starting to puff up. It's like getting excited. You want to be really delicate now. And you can like kind of manipulate it. If you messed it up a little bit, you could kind of manipulate it back into its real pretzel shape. But I kind of like it busted and messed it up because it, then it looks homemade. You know, mm -hmm. when you get that perfect pretzel, it looks like a machine made it. And that's not good for anybody. Yeah, I agree. So we want it to like gl glow when it comes out of the oven and have that shine to it. So we're just going to take a little bit of egg wash now and kind of base that on like this. Looking good. And you know a pretzel isn't a pretzel without the sea salt, right, Chase? That's right. So we are going to go, oh, and I like my salt. Now, I've gone with a flaky salt here because I kind of like expensive salt, but a sea salt would work for you or a Himalayan pink salt would work. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to bake that gorgeous-looking precious thing for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how big you rolled them out into the oven at 400 degrees. Check it after 15 and set a timer for every two or three minutes after that. But what they should look like, oh, what a, oh. oh you made a whole that bunch. That is what I made this morning. Oh, 
that's so good. Well, I'm not making one. Of course not. <laughs> of course you're not making now, one. Let's talk about what we serve it with. Let's do now, it. Now, it really depends if you're drinking wine or if you're drinking beer, Tracy. And I know you like the wine. Yeah. So I'm going to set you up and I'm going to give you a little bit of French mustard there, right? And you can like, I might even give you two because I know you're okay. hungry. But then what you're going to do is you're going to take this pretzel and you're just going to rip it up open like this. Oh, my God. And you're going to go with the mustard because you're drinking the wine. But I'm I'm going for the beer cheese sauce. Look at this. Oh, melted I down want the cheese sauce. Like, I'll have beer. Fine. If I get the cheese sauce. All right. I'll share it <laughs> with you. Yeah, you can have both. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to throw it back to you because I'm going to dive in. Yeah, dive in.